Hi everyone, Bob is here with a new video. Today I would like to talk about frozen shoulder. What are the signs and symptoms of this condition? And at the same time, what are the stages of this condition? By the end of this video, I would like to share with you a couple of exercises that you can actually start your rehabilitation right away. Let's get started. Frozen shoulder, also called adhesive capsulitis, is a common disorder that causes pain, stiffness, and loss of normal range of motion in the shoulder. The resulting disability can be serious and the condition tend to get worse with time if it's not treated. It affected mainly people ages between 40 to 60 and women are more often than men. The cause of frozen shoulder or adhesive capsulitis is still unclear. It is thought that the lining of the joint, the capsule of the shoulder, becomes inflamed and that would cause some sort of scar tissue formation. This leaves less room for the humerus or arm bone to move and that causes restriction movement in the joint. There are three stages in frozen shoulder that I'm going to show you one by one. The first stage is freezing stage that any movement of your shoulder causes pain and your shoulder's range of motion starts to become limited. The frozen stage, the second stage, which is pain may begin to diminish during this stage. However, your shoulder becomes stiffer and using it becomes more difficult. The last stage or towing stage, the range of motion in your shoulder begins to improve. The first question that most of my patients would like to ask is how long it takes them to actually recover. We can't really give you a dark answer to tell you, okay, it might take six, eight, one year. In most of the cases, patients might experience up to two years and some cases longer than that for recovery for this condition. The best way to figure out how to start your recovery would be contacting your physical therapist and they can help you with this. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of exercises right now to start your recovery right away. I'm going to start this rehabilitation with pendulum movement. This exercise can be done on the bench or table like this. I'm going to show you how to do it and you can give it a try. You try to create some sort of movement with your body, which means I'm moving my body and we assume the right arm is the arm that actually is sore and is stiff. And with moving my body, I'm trying to create a movement on my shoulder. The right arm is pretty relaxed. I'm not trying to hold it up. I'm trying to relax as much as I can and create this basically circulation movement with my arms. You can go anti-clockwise or clockwise. It's not a problem. I'm going to show you from the other side. You can see this easier. You get a better idea. Just moving my body. It's getting more movement. You may need to start with a very small, tiny movements and slowly make that circle bigger and bigger. Now, as you can see, uh, I, can, I can slightly give kind of like direction to my arms, which way, which way to actually move, you know? And you can try to do the same thing. You can practice this for 30 seconds to one minute for three, four sets. Now, this is a very gentle exercise, guys that you can try this couple of times through the day because it's pretty easy and it doesn't actually aggravate your symptoms. Give it a try and see how you're getting on. The next movement that I'm going to show you guys is going to be internal and external rotation of your shoulder. External rotation can be limited in frozen shoulder, but with this exercise, we're trying to slowly build up through this movement. You can use your both arms and internally and externally rotate your arms. Now, how far can you go back? It all depends on every individual, which means we're trying to go as far as we can. And as you can see, I internally rotate my shoulder in and then externally going back. You're trying to relax your shoulder as much as you can and build up through this movement. If you can bring up to here, work around there, up to here and slowly carry on. You can try this exercise for three sets of 15 and slowly build up to 20. Now, because you're only using your arms, it can be some cases actually easy. And in my opinion, I would look at 
how far I can get my range improved, you know, which means you trying to get as far as you can go back. And while I'm getting to the end range, my shoulder plates at the back kind of squeezing each other. That would be a great point for you to focus as well, to squeeze your shoulder plates and use your upper back muscles as well. Now, this is the second exercise and we're gonna to move to the next one. The following move that I'm going to show you guys is gonna be a stretch for the shoulder. You need a towel that size, maybe a little bit bigger, that should be fine. Um, but what you could do, you could use this towel, rolls like that, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. We're trying to stretch the right arms and we'll try to get this to this basic position. Now, um, with the opposite arm, your left arm, you're trying to hold on the towel and the right arm is relaxed and you're trying to pull that down and get the shoulder to get the nice stretch around here and on the back of my arms, I can feel that stretch. Now, initially you might not be able to get there. You can even hold your arms around here and get to bring your arms as far as you can. You don't want to force it. You're trying to get as far as you can and meantime hold it for um, 15 to 20 seconds you can relax your shoulder and then you change arms I would suggest to do it for both arms you can try it with the other arms you're gonna keep the elbows closed hold there 10 to 15 seconds you can go all the way up to 20 seconds now I'm gonna show you the same thing from this side you're basically trying to bring this back, hold it there, bring the opposite back, and I'm trying to pull with my right arms now. As you can see, my elbow is close to my ear. I'm trying to relax it there and pulling down. When I'm pulling down, my left arm is just totally relaxed and I'm just holding it out. This exercise can be pretty um, gentle. At the same time, it can help you to actually get to that um, external rotation or back of your head. Now, there is another version that you can do. It's similar to what we did just now. What you could do now, you can do the opposite movement, which means I'm bringing my arms here, but I'm stretching now the left arms, which is I'm bringing my right arms up. I can use the towel to make it a little bit longer to have more room. You can bring it here. And now I'm bringing my right arms up and my left arms actually getting at the back the full stretch and I'm relaxing there for 10 to 15 20 seconds and I can change arms now now this is for the right arms I'm bringing arm up here you might not be able to bring it up to here you can even hold it here and slowly work around that to get to that movement which means whenever you felt it is loose you can move arms lower bring it all the way up and hold it there for 15 20 seconds and relax i find this exercise guys um you can do it even standing you shouldn't be seated really helpful and, and a lot of my patients actually got really good results after this initially this can be a little bit um stiff but you gotta just practice it once or twice a day depends on your time and play around the following movement that I'm going to show you guys, you need a small towel like this or a piece of tissue, whichever works for you, work around it. We try to simulate a couple of movements such as rotation, clockwise and anti-clockwise. I'm gonna bring the arms move forward and backward and apply a slight amount of pressure on the towel. And we're gonna go for left and right. As you can see, there is no read them into it and try to move around. Now, you can start with a small circle, slowly make this bigger. I don't apply too much pressure on the towel, but I try to keep slight tension. That helped me to actually activate my muscle around my arms and shoulder. And with this movement, I create movement on my elbow and also on my shoulder. Now, if you wanna make it specifically for the shoulder, you can lock the elbow joint and try to come through shoulder. But initially I would say just work around, create a small circle and slowly make them bigger whenever you felt comfortable. You can go 
small circle anti-clockwise and whenever you felt more comfortable as you can see I'll bring my arms in a bigger movement bring it all the way up down moving it forward moving it back this is a very useful movement guys that you can add on to your daily routine and in some cases you can help your family and clean up the whole place it can be actually done you can start with the kitchen and start with the kitchen table go to the cabinets and everywhere you can clean up everywhere now you can progress this with moving it around I'm gonna show you a different version I'm gonna use the same towel and basically this is a progression that you can do on a wall on the door bring it all the way up and down across to the right and left up and down there's no rhythm to it guys start small and if you want to make it a little bit more challenging I would lean a little bit on it and lock my elbow like literally the movement come from my shoulder if bringing it up it does aggravate your pain and, and symptoms you can start with the lower level which means from here slightly lean on it as you can see my it's not my just elbow I slightly lean on it and I bring it through my shoulder joint I move back bring it up and down you can try to practice this for let's say 30 seconds or 45 seconds build up to a minute and try to see how long can you resist to this movement and slowly build it up to two to three minutes give it a try you're really gonna like this exercise it's very gentle but at the same time it's effective the following movement that I'm going to show you guys it can be um, done with resistant band and this can strengthen your shoulder and your upper back and I'm gonna show you how to do it depends on the color that you have available you can basically stabilize the resistant band there and create this basically raw movement which means it works on your shoulder at the same time it strengthens your upper back muscles now as you can see my arms are not basically too much rotated you're trying to keep them in internal rotation and keep the elbows closed and I kind of while I'm pulling it I open up my chest and the slow control I keep this tempo you're trying to just picture your shoulder plate at the back and squeeze them together if you find this is aggravating your symptoms and your pain work around the range that you feel comfortable if you find it you can only bring it up to here that's fine slowly work on that and progress step by step I'm gonna show you from the side I'm trying to literally relax the shoulder and, and um, just not avoiding this movement actually I'm not trying to bring it up I'm trying to relax my shoulder keep my back relax breathing in and out and I'm trying to just squeeze your two shoulder blade at the back now you can try this movement for three sets of 12 and progress them to 15 if you find 15 is easy maybe progress them to 20 you can do it anywhere at home while you're sitting and watching movie or TV you can try it maybe a couple of times a day if you have time the last exercise that I'm going to show you guys you need a tennis ball if you have it available at home you can use it and we're trying to actually make it a little bit more fun and try to challenge your arms in a little bit different type of movements you're definitely gonna change your um, kind of like movement in a way that you like and at the same time you will get challenged through your coordination because you need to catch the ball you can start with something as simple as that or even you can do it seated if you find it difficult you can start with that as you can see my arms and shoulders need to move now you can play around with the wall I start with a very small movement I slowly can whenever I feel comfortable bring my arms more up and create more movement now if I find it easy to catch it that way I try to throw it that way but don't afraid to be creative and do your own way there is no perfect way to do this you can play around and it actually can be pretty fun
Try this exercise, guys. And if you find any of the exercises are not really um, easy for you to do, be patient, spend some time, do them maybe once a day, and slowly build it up. Thank you for watching this video, guys. I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any question, leave us a comments or send me an email. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends and family who may need these exercises. If you need any specific exercise routine, please leave us a comment and I would be happy to upload those videos in the coming weeks. We update our videos on a weekly basis and we can't wait to see you the following week.